This is the sweetest little guy. Now look how precious this little one is. Look at that little bunny butt. Look at its little fluffy tail back there. I just think they're so cute and they're so, so easy. And you know what? You got spare socks laying around, grab those. But the one that I was really loving so much is just this fluffy ivory one. So let's do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our sock inside out. And I have just regular old, the most inexpensive white rice that you can get. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill our little, um, the foot of our sock with some rice. I put mine in a plastic cup here. And I'm just gonna fill, I'm just gonna pour the rice in. And last time what I did is I sat my, when we made the gnomes, I actually sat my um, sock in a vase and then filled it. I just forgot about that till right now. So if you wanna stick this into another glass cup or something like that, and then use the little plastic cup to fill it with rice, that's a good idea. Okay, so we're just gonna put the, we're just pouring the rice into our little sock. And you know what, depending on how fat you want your bunny to be or how tall, that's how much rice you're gonna use. And honestly, it takes more than, than you think. It really does. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pour that whole cup in. And some socks, some of these socks, you know what? They're going to stretch out a little bit more than others. So this little guy, it's stretched out pretty good. So I think I'm going to add more rice. I'm going to put a little bit more rice in my cup. So I'm going to go ahead and put more rice in my sock here. Let's see how big these this guy is. Because you want the ears, so you want you want to have quite a bit for its its floppy ears. So I think that's going to be good. So that's going to be a nice little size. So what we're going to do is I just have twine. Um, so just take whatever if you want to use jute, twine, ribbon, and we're going to tie a little uh, loop around where its body is going to be. And then we're going to do another little loop around the top of its head. So I'm going to decide here, I'm going to push this rice up. And then I'm looking at how big I want its head to be, like right there, see? So this is going to be its floppy ears here. This part from here to here is its ears. So I'm going to go ahead and I think that's going to be really cute. I'm going to go ahead and just tie the twine around that part and that's going to make its body and then the other part is going to be making its head so i'm just tying that twine around and i'm going to go pretty tight not too tight because i don't want it i don't want it to look like it's two balls i want it to look like um it kind of graduates up into the head the body graduates up into the head see see how it kind of looks like it's sitting on there that's what i want that's what you want to get and now the top here I'm going to go ahead and tie the top off, and that's going to be his sweet little ears. I love this so much. These are so cute. And now this one you're going to tie tight, okay, because we don't want the rice to come back up through its ears and get out. So I'm going to cut those off. So now here's what we've got. We've got the body. And we've got his sweet little head. And you can, you can shape these around. You can move the rice around and shape its head a little bit. So I'm going to go right in the middle of this part of the sock that's left. And I'm going to cut that in half. And that's going to be its cute little floppy ears. So I've got my scissors here. And I'm going to go just cut right down the middle. There we go. There's his little floppy ears, so cute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of glue and I'm gonna go down the inside where I cut the, um, the sock in half and let's just glue our little ears closed. Let's go right down on the edge here. And you know, you can if you wanted to, this looks pretty cute, this little profile of the ear, but if it's completely flat, you might want to cut like a little um, oval in it, but I think that's really sweet. So let's go ahead and do the other ear. I like the fluffy socks. I, I think they're just precious. So there is the body. 
and the head and the ears of our sweet little friend here. Now what I'm going to do is I need to embellish this little cutie. I, um, I bought these pom-poms and they are, this is going to be its eyes and nose. So these are uh, just, a, just about a quarter of an inch. And they have different colors in this. And I'm going to use the black for the eyes. And I'm going to use the pink for the nose. I've got this gray twine that we tied it, that we tied uh, the neck and the body with. And I'm going to cut three pieces here. And that's going to be its whiskers. However long you want them to be, however many you want to do, that's about how long I'm going with mine. And I am going to position them right in the middle of his sweet little face. And then his pink little nose is going to go right on top of those. And then we'll do the two little eyeballs. Okay, so let's do that real quick. I'm going to lay him down. I'm going to go ahead and do, and you can position its little eyes and its nose where you want on the little bunny face. I'm kind of, whoops, sorry about that. I'm kind of going like this. I'm kind of thinking I'm putting a big bow in its hair. So its eyes are going to be about here, and then its nose is going to sit just a little bit lower than its face, a little bit lower than the middle of its face. So I'm going to put a little dollop of glue, hot glue, just a little teeny bit. Ah, I messed up my whiskers. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Those are the, those are the strings from the other um, piece that we cut off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take these little whiskers and go right across there. Okay. And that's why I've got my skewer. You want to get something to hold these down. You want to get something to hold those down so you don't lose your thumbprints again. So this is, <laughs> it's no fun when you lose your fingerprints to hot glue. Jeepers. Okay. Now let's take our cute little pink pom-pom, little bitty guy. And we're just going to put a little bit more glue on top of those whiskers. And we're going to put his little nose on there. Just a little bit. And if you don't want to use hot glue, you could use E6000. It's just going to take a little bit longer to dry. I like the hot glue because it's like instant gratification. Okay, I'm going to hold that little nose down on its little whiskers right there. So cute. So, so sweet. So that is his little nose. There's his little whiskers. And now that we've got those little cuties on, we got to do his little eyeballs. Let's go ahead and look at his sweet face and then figure out where you want your eyes. And then just do a teeny itty bitty dollop of glue, just a little teeny bit. There. And there. So I'm gonna take my eyes, I'm gonna stick them on that little bit of hot glue. I'm gonna use our chopstick, or I mean um, skewer. So I have a chopstick too that I use. If I'm quilting and I need to, you, I, I use it a lot for quilting when I'm trying to, you know, re, like I'm turning something inside out and sewing it. I use a chopstick to get really nice straight corners and stuff. Okay, so there we have its sweet little eyes. We've got its little nose. Look at that precious little face. Do you see how dear he is? Precious. Okay, so I love, I just have an assortment of ribbon here, you guys. This lace from the Dollar Tree. That's kind of cute. That might actually be sweet. You know what? Let's do a little lace around its neck. And then I have this assortment of um, paper flowers from the Hobby Lobby that I got. They're just adorable. Buy these things when they're on sale and they're really affordable. And I keep these in a little tote just for embellishments for things. I love those. So why don't we just do a little lace around her neck and then some little flowers and then we could put a little bow We'll put, do a little bow up on her head and then she's done and run it around her neck. And this is just all we're doing, sweethearts, is we're just kind of covering up the, um, the twine that we use to tie off the head from the, um, the body. So just that little teeny bit of lace. Oh, that's so cute. That is really cute. And that's a little cotton lace. That's sweet. Okay, little dollop of glue. Hold that down. And I'm not doing it real, real tight. You can see that I just kind of, it's just kind of following its, its natural little neckline there. 
so, so sweet. So I'm thinking with this little cutie, there's a pink one. There is the buffalo plaid, which I love. There are, there's like a little daisy that is so sweet. I think she's going to get a couple of those. And then I have these itty bitty ones, these itty bitty little paper flowers that look like little daisies. I'm gonna use a couple of those and they're pink and yellow. I'm gonna put a couple of those in there, just kind of just meander them around. These little details like this are what make things so precious. They are the things that make the, these little projects so precious. So I'm gonna come in here with my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna eyeball, and I think I want the pink one. Let's do that. And then I love the buffalo plaid. We gotta have that one. And then I'm gonna add uh, this daisy on there. And then I'm gonna tuckle in a couple of these itty bitty little daisies. The little yellow one can go in there. And then another little pink one. They're precious. Oh my gosh, they're cute. And I think one more yellow. Okay, so that's how she's dolled up. She is just dolled up that way. So dang, isn't she sweet? She's so dang sweet. Now we need to put a little bow to cover up the twine on her ears. And I'm thinking, hmm, Easter stripe in the pastels. And I think that might just be the perfect little bow for her, her her little ears because it goes with the pink and everything and I might let me see do I want to do a little buffalo plaid over top of it and make it crazy let's do that let's just layer those two together why not why not I think that's adorable I'm going to cut a little piece of wire here and that wire is what we're going to use to hold our bow together so I got that ready so I'm going to take my little plaid and this is more of a gingham, it's not a buffalo plaid, it's a gingham. And I'm gonna go over top of the stripe and I'm just gonna do a little loop, okay? And then I'm gonna do another little loop. So now we've got a little figure eight and I'm gonna pinch it in the middle and then I'm gonna cut off a little tail because she's little, she doesn't need a whole lot. I'm gonna cut off a little bit of the tail I'm gonna twist it around and we're gonna loop that back around and then attach it in the middle. And then we've got our wire. We've got a piece of wire here. And I'm just gonna pinch that off in the center, twist the wire around, and then we'll cut the loop in half. Okay, there we go. I love the plaid. Hey, you know what? You do what you want to do. I love that Easter stripe with that black and white plaid. I think it's fun. It just makes me happy. And so that's what I'm going with. And now I've got that bow. I've got that cute little bow. And that little sweetie is going to sit right. I'm actually going to take that wire around her ear. And I'm going to attach it on there. And then we'll give it a little squeeze of hot glue. And that's going to hold it really cute. Oh, look at that little honey. She's ready for Easter. She is ready to decorate your table. Wherever you're going to put her, she's going to be so cute and so sweet there. Oh, I love it. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot to put a tail on them. So here's what I have. I've got these little white pom-poms. Let's go ahead and give them a little bunny butt. A little hot glue. Ta-da! Look at him! He's just as cute from the back! She, so cute. <laughs> I know, Mark heard me getting all excited up here, and he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, we're making sock bunnies! There we go, you guys. Sweet as can be. I'm glad that we got to have our Friday night craft night together. This was so much fun. So listen, everybody, let's have our last little toast to one another. Cheers to each one of you, sweet friends. Have a wonderful weekend. Do something kind for yourself. You know, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just, you know, um, just stay safe and know that you're loved and you're cherished. And cheers to each one of you. Happy craft night, you guys. Happy Easter bunnying. Happy Easter bunnying. Oh, delicious.
Love you guys. Have a wonderful evening and a fantastic weekend. I will check back with you soon. Love you. Have a good night.